okay this video i'm going to show you how to find critical value for total test with given significant level alpha level and two independent sample n1 is 12 and n2 is 9. so first of all we full out full over the t table down here so if you full out the t table down here right we clearly see there is going to be two tail test as a two tail test so this is the two tail down here two tails and also alpha is 0 0.02 so we look into this one alpha and 0 0.02 now because there is a two sample here there is a two sample n1 and l2 n2 so the degree of freedom so we have to work it out degree of freedom so degree of freedom is going to be n1 plus n2 minus 2 so it's going to be 12 plus 9 minus 2 and of course we're going to have a 19 degree of freedom okay so we go to 19 go 19 to the right and this is just down here is the second one as you clearly see this is under 98 percent significant level is 0 0.02 so we go down and we stop at 19 2.539 so 2.539 our critical value our critical value is plus and minus 2.539 so what does it really mean if we have a bell curve okay if we have a bell curve and this is moving the 50 percent this 50 percent to the right and 50 percent to the left now we are going to actually well i do i want to erase those percentages because i want to have my critical value so this is 2.5 so one two three one two three so most probably 2.53 2.53 it should be down here this one so that's my critical reason that's the critical value 2.539 and 1 2 2.539 so that should be my critical reason on the left side here yes so that is negative 2.539 so what is this critical value really tells us critical value tells us this alpha level this is a rejection area this is a rejection area this is a non-rejection area non-rejection area and this is rejection area rejection area or we say reject what null hypothesis if data fall on the left side if data fall on the right side we say also reject null hypothesis if inside we fail to reject so this is the significant of critical value this really tells us to have a decision based on the hypothesis test based on the test statistic i should say actually so this is how we find the critical value for two independent sample thank you